My name is Dr Robert Crawford from the Faculty of Architecture, Building and Planning at the University of Melbourne. I teach into the Melbourne School of Design in areas associated with prefabrication, in life cycle assessment, assessing the environmental impacts of particularly buildings and construction projects, and also in supply chain management and how we can use the principles of supply chain management that have come from manufacturing and employ them in construction to improve the performance of construction projects in particular. Being involved with the 5 x 4 project uh, was a really exciting opportunity uh, for the University of Melbourne and uh, it's a great opportunity to employ a lot of the skills and the knowledge that we've developed within the Faculty of Architecture, Building and Planning and a lot of the research that I personally have done as well um, into a real world project um, to see how we can inform the design of a uh, zero or low carbon project in the 5x4 um, project and use the knowledge gained from that to further improve and develop the, the, the methods and the tools and the knowledge that we've already got uh, within the university. What I'll be doing is scrutinising the materials that are used or specified um, for use in the 5x4 project and we'll be looking at opportunities for minimising the carbon and energy input into this project as much as we possibly can so that we can minimise not only the um, energy that's being used to operate the building um, but also and just as importantly minimise the energy and carbon that's gone into constructing the building um, from the initial stages of it. Within this project we're going to be using uh, one of the most sophisticated and comprehensive assessment techniques for quantifying embodied energy and emissions. And that's typically known as uh, an input-output based hybrid uh, assessment approach. It basically combines industry data um, for energy consumption of particular materials. Um, so how much energy is being used within a particular manufacturing plant to produce steel, concrete or timber or whatever it might be and we combine that data with economic data. Um, that economic data um, covers the entire economy. So it tells us how much um, energy or, or emissions have gone into or been released as a result of um, the transfer or the, the um, purchase of goods and services between each sector of the economy. Uh, so we can emerge that data, which is systemically complete. It covers the whole economy. Um, with industry specific data, which is obviously much more specific to the particular materials and products that we're uh, looking at. Um, but it gives us a more complete and holistic view and much more comprehensive analysis than is possible with these traditional industry based, um, what we call process analysis techniques. The approach that's being used to construct the 5x4 project um, using prefabrication um, by constructing the building in a factory is extremely beneficial and innovative. Um, it assists greatly in minimising the energy consumption and the carbon uh, that's associated with the production of materials because it allows us to better control and manage the quantity of material that's required and to design out uh, a lot of the waste that, that's traditionally associated with construction projects. Therefore, we get rid of or, or avoid a lot of the energy and carbon that's wasted through waste materials and waste products. In the process of specifying and selecting materials for the 5x4 project, we'll also consider obviously materials that have a recycled content um, and also the recyclable. Um, we can do a lot to reduce the impact that materials have on the environment by choosing materials that are recyclable and are, have a high recycled content. And uh, we can quantify then how much energy or carbon has been saved by doing that compared to specifying virgin raw materials. And we can look at it in a number of different ways as well. We can uh, quantify the potential recyclability at the end of the, the building's life, so how much of the building is actually um, recyclable. Uh, and we can also look at the total energy and carbon saved as a result of the materials that have been specified compared to uh, an alternative building where completely 100% virgin raw materials have been, have been used. 
One of the other exciting uh, opportunities from the 5x4 project is being able to bring some of uh, our current students, so the next generation of designers and project managers, out to the project um, and when it's under construction, just to see uh, how a project like this um, gets off the ground, how it comes into fruition, and it'll be a great measure of um, the project success if we can actually achieve, achieve that and we can measure and demonstrate the broad benefits that the project's aiming to achieve.